And now, time for Maverick Duck 3-2, the ultimate in suspension front end forks, longer and bigger than all the rest of the competition. The best thing about this fork is the lockdown feature. It's still long until you hit a bump and it shortens up from a 125 to a 90 mm travel. And it's compressed air, so it's still moving, but it's kind of stiffer. So you can uh, climb, you know, standing up, and it gives you better position over your pedals for climbing. Yeah, this fork is my favorite. Because it's big travel. And then you get to the top of the hill and unlock it. And you got, again, really nice plush, soft suspension. Building bikes is an art form, and Kent has built thousands of them over the years, making each step look easier than it really is. Let's head on over to the other room and get a lesson in lacing wheels. Salsa looks a really cool. They make their own rim. This is a Maverick hub with a huge axle. It keeps the fork a lot more rigid. So it's kind of a custom build. It hasn't been done before too much. But wheel building is kind of an art, but it's more like basket weaving, really. It's not that hard to do. But there's different patterns, and you just want to make sure you get your valve stem crossed in the right place. But mostly it's tension. You know, if you can get the tension right, you get a good wheel. It's, it's tough being a celebrity. Sometimes you have to blow off your bike rides just so you can get your time in front of the camera. I'm gonna be a celebrity anyway. Not yet. And for the bike building finale, Kent's gonna stick on the rest of the parts. If you'd like to check out the goodies that we've used on this cycle, visit FilmingTheRockies.com, click on gear, and you'll get the rundown on what was there. Single speed. He speeded a journey. Keep on pedaling. The hair. Oh. You know, the hair does what it will, and <laughs> I'd go with it. I spent all night doing my hair on my pillow. <laughs> but don't cut it, I might lose my strength. 